Hi, I'm Rich Bonaducci. And I'm Holly Love. And you are watching Talk 365. On KJazz. Welcome to our show. This is going to be a fun show today. And Rich, welcome back. Oh, oh, th th thank you. Um, you were extremely missed, by the way. No one knew I was gone. Um, I knew you were gone. And uh, our new friend Jorge knew you were gone. It was painful. <laughs> it was three days no sleep painful without you. Why is that? Well, yeah, um, because editing without you hurt and we missed you and never leave us again, okay? Okay. I went to Disneyland with uh, uh, Western Governors University. It's my day job. Did you, I mean, tell us, tell me about it. I haven't even talked to you. Well, basically it was training for the enrollment folks, but it was a good time because uh, we got to uh, meet a lot of Disney folks and hear their philosophy of how they approach business and customer oh. service. So that was kind of cool. So by Disney folks, you don't mean like Mickey and Minnie? Although, oh, well, I have a picture with Mickey, That's, so yeah, but yeah. So they were telling you about? Well, he was, he was going, he didn't tell me anything. And he didn't have any business tips, really? He pointed a lot. Oh. So who was there business-wise from Disney? Basically the guys that, that do these seminars to talk about their approach to customer service, which, okay. is, which is great. Very cool. Which I found out being there. Very cool. Yeah, yeah. Did Good you guys. get to go on any rides or go do uh, anything fun? Near the end of it. Yeah, that was actually part of the customer service because the five of us went out into the park to do some things. And, you know, the, the lines are really long and you have to wait an hour or more for some of the rides. And we wanted to go into Hyperspace Mountain. and uh, Hyperspace Mountain? It's now Star Wars themed. Oh. Because Disney owns Star Wars. Oh. And Marvel and everything else awesome. So but, things have changed. Yes, things have changed. But uh, the line was 75 minutes long, and we're like, we don't have that kind of time. And then these people came up and said, we have to go. We, here's some fast passes. Do you want them? Just randomly? Random. There were only four, though, and five of us. Oh. So we went up to the line, and we're like, uh, can we use it? And they said, fine. Fast pass. Nice. They just let us in as part of their oh. customer service. They were like, oh, it's fine. Just go in. Very nice. Cut down that 75 to like 15. Very nice. So Fast Pass is a must at Disneyland. I don't know how much it costs, but I think whatever it costs is you worth it. You should probably it. do it. I would do it. Yeah. yeah. I, I The line thing to is To try to just, fit in no. as many rides as you can in a day, yeah, I'd Fast Pass Especially it. if you have kids. Can you imagine a yeah. 75-minute line with kids? Yes. Murder. And I don't Murderous. Want that would not be fun. Yeah. Okay, so um, coming up on our show, we have an improving you. We have a news you can use. It's going to be an incredible show. You're not going to want to go anywhere. So stick around, won't ya? Holly's hair, I mean hair care for Talk 365 team, provided by Becky Betts. Look, I get it. I get that going back to school is a logical next step. It's a smart move, Stan. I just want to be sure all the effort pays off. Sure, WGU gets that. They create their courses with help from leading companies so you get the skills employers want. So I'm more likely to get the job that I want. Right. Okay. I'm gonna go for it. That a boy, Stan. Strong mind, strong money. Innovative, online, and surprisingly affordable. WGU, it's a new kind of you. You know, Josh, this is starting to look awfully familiar. Uh, it's a reboot. Well, I thought we saw the same thing about That's two years ago. Ah, uh, you're thinking no, of the prequel. Sure you know Wait, I thought the prequel was... Director's cut. Okay, so I'm thinking of the unrated extended special edition. See, back in 1977. Shh, guys, save it for the movie show. I'll take one, thank you. Talk 365 set design provided by Consign and Design. Welcome back to Talk 365. We have some uh, news you can use, apparently. Yes, we that do. That I know nothing about. I know, are you excited? I am so excited. You love my news you can use because it is 
all about celebrity, politics, current events. It's news you can reuse, if you will. It is water cooler news you can use. Right? Yeah, I love that stuff. I know. It's current eventy and fun all at the same time. Yep. Okay. These, and, these and are my these, peeps. These are my magazines. You know it's good and, and you can believe it when it comes from OK and the official Star magazine. It gets way good. And this I went to a lot of work. This was recon. I worked hard. OK. This these is, are expensive. I know. This is, and I'm going to charge you for this. This is on the cover. I am not paying for that. Well, yes, you are. No, I'm not. OK, get ready. We, this is later. This is the dessert part of, of this whole thing. We got to start with politics first. So now, oh, um, okay. Carly Farino, Ted Cruz, I love how it's not such a big deal that she's a woman. I know they're talking about it. They're, of course, talking about how he's picking her with the whole Hillary thing. But it's not like as groundbreaking as the 1994 Geraldine Ferrero, that whole thing. It's kind of more normal now. And I think we've come a long way, baby. What well, are your yeah, thoughts? but it's been decades. Yeah. But I, li I like that. And I also like how with the whole Jewish and religious thing with Bernie, that has not been talked He's about Jewish? either. Yeah, so you don't even know. No, I knew it. Because in 2000, Seems with, Bernie. With, <laughs> with the Gore-Lieberman campaign, it was a really big deal that Lieberman was Jewish. But again, that was a long time ago. So yes, but I will say this. He's not yet the nominee, and he probably won't be. A lot of times, they don't pull out their big guns until someone is the nominee, and then they blast them. But Lieberman was the nominee, and it was a big deal. Yeah. Uh. And um, Geraldine Ferrero was the nominee in 84, and that was a big deal. Well, that's what I'm saying. They were the nominee, and yeah. that's when they went after them. Yeah. Bernie is not the nominee yet. Oh, well. If he were to be the nominee, okay. then they might pull out the big guns and start saying all this stuff. They kind of reserve that until the person's like they're really going to go after who whomever is ultimately the nominee. Yeah. They're just poking each other right now, but eventually they're going to oh, it's going to come out. Bloodbath. Yeah, it's going to be awful. I wish it wasn't like that, but I know. I yeah. kind of hate like political years really. Yeah, and it's, it's it's lousy. The worst. But we have we have come a long way. I yeah. love that it is so much more diverse. I mean, it would be fantastic if we actually did get a woman to be in the White House as a vice president or a president. I mean, that would be really great. But the fact that we have more and more being represented in campaigns in the whole political party system is fantastic. Yeah, but it isn't really all that, it's not all that uh, representative. For instance, there used to be something like 17 Republican possible mm -hmm. nominees, you know, candidates. Okay. One was a woman. Yeah. Yeah, that's not quite a glass ceiling shattered there. You know, no. Maybe if it was half, okay. But, yeah. you know. And meanwhile, there were three, I think, Democrat, and one was a woman. Hmm. That's a little more even. Yeah. That's good, yeah. you know. But, we and, have, and frankly, Carly's probably been picked because she's a woman. So you don't think that it's as just... I don't think it's as big of a deal. I, I think it's a real Hail, Hail Mary pass. Hmm. You know what I mean? She 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 finished seventh. I think she's awesome. <laughs> she, I know, you know I, mean? I know she, her career. She that was a big debate about her whole being a CEO and Hewlett Packard and the company not doing so well. I mean, running them into the ground and all that. Yeah, yeah. I think that's up for debate, but I think she's a pretty phenomenal person. Yeah, but I mean, if if she had finished second and then Ted turned around and said, "You're gonna, you're get gonna," it, that's yeah. one thing. Yeah, she that's, finished seventh. She was just the only lady. You just made me flip-flop. This is why I don't do politics. I'm just <laughs> this saying. is why I'm not a very good political person. I understand. I, I don't worst. know. The worst. This is why we're going to get to the this now. Plus, okay. it's also unusual to, to announce someone this early. Ted, Ted Cruz is not the nominee, and yet he's saying. That's true. I'm, That's interesting. He did it to try to lock up the nomination mm. by getting. It's because he's just trying to be like, to let's him. not acknowledge Trump anymore. Let's just say that I'm it. Well, Trump has a problem with women. Well, uh, and, no, no, and, I don't know, though, because he is extremely respectful of his daughter. I mean, his daughter kind of runs his no, life. No, he wants to sleep with his daughter. Ooh, that's weird. Yeah. What? I don't... Look at anything. What? Yeah, it's nasty. What are you talking about, Bonaducci? <laughs> yeah, I, I have never heard that. <laughs> you need to read. What? Oh, I yeah. don't want to read. No, no, he's... No. That is a gross story. But he's got a problem with, with ladies, but so does Ted Cruz. They see him as creepy. Well... So... 
why not have a lady on on the ticket and tell them this that hey, the if you vote for me, it's going to be VP. Ever. Yeah, why? it's I don't know. why is it so bad? It's How nasty. is it that there's just no one awesome? Why can't we have JFK back? A lot of people didn't think he was awesome. I don't know. Okay, Even let's move then. on to fun stuff. Just good okay. looking. So remember the story, Kelly Ripa. We were talking about her last week too. No, I'm doing a follow no, up. I pretty Kelly much and forgot Michael. that. The second and by we the way, um, if you put the horrible picture up of her again, murder. You what are you the talking worst about? Worst picture of Kelly Ripa up last week. No, no. Oh, no, team. I didn't. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. What? I didn't pick it on purpose to Bones. say, "Oh, this is ugly." Bones. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. Okay, that's well, what well, she looks like. She's adorable, and you picked the worst light. I didn't. Okay, this is for later, afterwards. You, I'm going to pick the picture of Fine, her because I the love picture, her we'll to put death. It up, She's my favorite girl. It will be out of existence no, 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 no. 20 years okay, ago. Okay, anywho. So Kelly Ripa, I'm, I wanted to say that I think in the industry, on the whole vein of breaking glass ceilings, in the world of entertainment, I think it's awesome that women are having babies later, and it's more acceptable now um, in my industry, in our industry, to have kids later, which helps me out a lot because... I have not been so lucky in the kitty love department, so that helps and, me. And you're getting up there. I know, I'm 28 in LA years, thank goodness. And in other years, these folks are helping me out a lot. Two of my favorite people right now, Gwen Stefani, who is, let's see, I think she's 46, is said to be pregnant with Blake Shelton. And then um, at 48, Julia is said to be pregnant. And interesting thing about that whole thing is, I'd, I've read a lot of articles about this actually, that it's not so much about um, being older and because women are having babies older and the danger of being older, it's about starting when you're young and then having babies till you're 48, that's dangerous because it wears out your body. But if you wait until you're older and then you just have babies older, it's it's not as dangerous. That's at least what is sort of being studied now. I'm not a doctor. I don't know exactly. But that's what I've read. And I think that's why we're seeing more and more people older having healthy babies. And it's not like this crazy thing. And they're well, having... and to be uh, these people are, are have more money than God. And money helps with healthy Fertility pregnancies. and all of that kind of fun stuff. They have yeah. the best doctors and stuff and support that money Ab can buy. So Absolutely. There's that. So the Kelly Ripa thing, do you know how she got her, her uh, job on life? I don't. No? No. Okay. So I'm going to tell you because it's one of my favorite stories and it's uh, really quickly. So going back a little bit, they had this huge competition on the show where America got to vote and they had people come on and guest host for a week. Actually, with I remember Regis. that. I do remember that. Okay. So she was a soap opera star at the time and they had a psychic on on one of the days that she was on the air. Of course they did. Of course they did. And she was pregnant. And the psychic said, you're pregnant. And Kelly started to cry and said, my bosses at the soap opera don't, don't know. know this. I sure hope that I don't get fired. America fell in love with her because America loves pregnant. And because it's adorable. She was adorable, which I love that. They all voted for her. And she actually got her job because she was pregnant. Then we got to watch her have all of her cute, adorable children with Reed. And anyway, so I, I love how... Shout with Reed? Well, no. On the air. Oh. Well, Shout him on the air? Yes. No. I can see why they have ratings. Yeah. But I think that it's it's definitely softening. And as far as breaking that glass ceiling of being able to be a professional in our entertainment industry and being able to be a real woman and have babies and be a career person and, and do be able to kind of have everything, it's more acceptable and, and I love that. And that is my news you can use. Bam. I will, I will agree with you that I, th I think it's getting better. Yeah. I think it's got a long way to go. Well, the pay thing has a long way to go. Pay thing's a long way to go. In fact, uh, the Huntsman, we were talking about the Huntsman uh, Winter's War with Chris mm -hmm. Hemsworth, uh -huh. one of the, 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 uh, the square of Chris's. Yes. Um, of course, Charlize Theron was in that. Mm -hmm. I mean, she was the big part of it. She's the big baddie in it. Mm -hmm. She was not being paid. Uh, I, I don't know the, the whole details, but she was not being paid what she should have been paid really? and all this stuff. And she was like, oh, I'm not going to be in your thing until they actually paid her what Chris Hemsworth was getting. Oh, now time out, because I thought you were going to tell me that that would be a movie that obviously the women took the budget and he got the 
little baby stipend. Well, of course, he is the huntsman that's kind of named after him. Like, I get that. But the certain, but you've got Emily what? Blunt and you've got and Charlize Thurn. You don't, you don't not pay them. And the other one, the redhead who is, I can't think of her name, Chastain. Oh, well, Jessica Chastain too. Yeah, I'm sorry. But, I mean, but, they are huge yeah, stars. Yeah, they're probably the, the top three actresses in Hollywood now. And they got less money than they what's his name? They were getting less, yeah. That is ridiculous. Charlie specifically, who is who is the big baddie, and of that course she was in the first lame. one, and probably a lot of people were going because of her. They Everyone showed her was going in the trailer. because of all three of those women. Well, no one they went showed her in the trailer, but she wasn't even in the movie all that much. She came near the end. Wow. So, but I don't okay. Know. So, so I still think there's a way just, to go. Yeah, wrapping that up. I think it's getting better for sure. It is getting better, but yes, we do have a long way to go. Thank you for that. I That's mean, true. sadly, you know, you know, a lot of people are saying, well, it's 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 good that that say Hillary is running because it's not that big of a deal, mm -hmm. like you were saying. But yeah. at the same time, it's Trump, not groundbreaking. But Trump just came out and said, "That's all she has going for is that she's a woman." Yeah, but that's Trump. Trump I know. says things just to get people's goat. But people are, he's winning the, the, the nomination. So someone agrees with him. So it's, there's still a lot of folks out there who are, Thinking who are that dragging that, this movement down, I think. It's true. A lot of people who don't want to Or maybe the people who, who are changing just need to speak louder and get out there. Yeah. Because we want the change. We do. We do? Yes, absolutely. Okay, coming up next, I even have more fun. It's kind of like holiday today. Because this was fun. It, it, uh, why do you always go down her? Look, I had Star Magazine. Julie's having a baby. How? Look at Gwen. Look how cute she is. This mm -hmm. was fun. Yeah. I am always fun, and I have more fun coming up right after this. Stop being a downer on my parade. Oh, look at that hot beach buddies. Ten bucks on those magazines. Yeah, we'll be Ten dollars. Right after this. Talk three sixty five studio space provided by Media Riff. If you've been looking for alternative health care, imagine coming into a facility where you can meet with someone who specializes in your condition and then takes your exam findings and meets with a team of specialists to come up with a combined approach that will put you back on the path to health. At Integrated Wellness, they have everything from a medical doctor to an allergy specialist on staff. All combined, they can treat conditions ranging from rheumatoid arthritis to allergies, even chronic fatigue. Call Integrated Wellness for your consultation so you can be on the path to wellness today. Hey everybody, it's Holly Love and I am here with my old friend Todd Summers. Todd, you are now the marketing manager of University Credit Union and guess what? I just became a member today. Tell them why they should become members. You should become a member, especially if you love University of Utah. See our red color, Holly's red hair, the lips, it's, it's just, it works. Lots of benefits from a credit union. No fees, low interest rates on loans, car loans, friendly local service. Speaking of car loans, I've been needing a new car and you guys were fantastic. You recommended that I come here first. Before I go to the dealer, get pre-approved, I figured out what's going on with my credit, what I need to do to fix it, uh, how much my loan will be, how much I would pay per month in order to get the car I want to be in. You guys were so helpful. I am like prepared, armed, ready for battle to go find the perfect car. There is really just no excuse to not get in here to University Credit Union and join. Become a member today. Like me and Todd. Talk 365 set design provided by Consign and Design. Hello and welcome to the show. You might have noticed in between the show we have these commercials, one of them for integrated wellness. And I think the key to that is integrated. It is the key. Because apparently they do a lot of different things under one roof. Yes, they do. Not like when you go and it's just a foot doctor or whatever. They take care of a lot of different things, anything from like allergies to actual injuries yeah right and you've kind of dealt with them before i i have they have been my friends for a very long time very very long time meaning they've treated you yes i've had lots of problems i've got problems so not only do i get to do a lot of fun things like improving you which is a segment i've been doing for a very long time where i get to go and talk to people about the latest and greatest in everything self-improvement and which is what i got to do this segment about but i get to meet people who i end up being their clients and they end up being my doctor which is usually what happens and thanks for I'm, coming to talk to us you know there's something uh, wrong there with you something so my first time meeting dr frogley was when i worked for kjazz clear back when and i did 
did improving you back yep. then. Yep. And this was forever ago and he had just got started. I had pneumonia and he had just got started in chiropractic and I, he did an adjustment and I woke up the next day and I had my voice back and I felt better. And I called him and I was like, okay, whatever voodoo you do, I'm coming in. Like, whatever just happened, I'm better. And I have been going to him ever since. Like, he, and ever since then, he has built this incredible practice. There is a team of specialists. They are absolutely amazing. I'm just going to throw to the package because it's much better than me trying to say it. I'll, I'll let him tell you. Hey, everybody. Today, I am here at Integrated Wellness with Dr. Corey Frogley. Dr. Frogley, thank you so much for letting us swing by. Thanks for being here. Okay, so of course I want to talk to you about healthcare, but more specifically about why people are so frustrated with it. Does this topic sound familiar to you? Every day. <laughs> okay, so what I hear the most is that people are sick of how healthcare has become so specialized. So if you have allergies, you have to go to an allergy specialist. And if you have a back problem, you have to go to a back specialist. Now the allergy doctor doesn't know and probably doesn't want to know what the back doctor is doing yeah. and neither one of them are taking the time to figure out if there's any correlation between the two problems. Does this sound about right? Yeah, it's compartmentalized. And it's crazy to manage all of these different doctors. Now, I have been a patient of Integrated Wellness for the last eight years and you guys have treated me for everything from chronic pneumonia to a very, very severe back injury. So obviously you guys are doing something a little bit different. We are. In fact, here at Integrated Wellness, we have incredible doctors. We have a team of specialists. We have a medical doctor on staff. We have an allergy specialist, a nurse practitioner, a chiropractor. We do physical therapy, weight loss, massage. And imagine coming into a facility where you could meet with somebody who actually specializes in your condition and then takes those exam findings and goes and meets with a team of specialists to review your case. And as they coordinate your exam findings, they actually have their different opinions from the different specialties and come up with the best treatment plan that's going to be tailored for you. What are the most common health problems that you guys see in here? We see a lot on the metabolic side, chronic diseases, things like rheumatoid arthritis, to thyroid disorders, hormone imbalances, chronic fatigue. The way that we treat those is through a very specialized formulation of nutrients that we bypass the gut for people who can't absorb nutrients and so they're not getting healthy and we infuse it directly into the bloodstream. And that nutrients can get into the cells that then the cells can regenerate and heal. Uh, the other pathway that we see is pain, you know, similar to when you came in with a disc herniation and sciatica. And as we treat those, we have very specialized treatment where we do spinal decompression uh, to rejuvenate the disc. We have joint injections where we can actually regenerate damaged tissue. We have a high-powered laser that we're able to help accelerate the healing process and really minimize pain as a patient comes in. All right, so what is the best way for people to get started? You know, pick up the phone and call us. We accept most major health insurances, but if you don't have health insurance, we will provide for you a $37 gift certificate that allows you to come in and actually meet with our team and really see if your condition is something that our facility is a perfect match for. Dr. Frawley, thank you so much again for talking with us today, and I can't wait for you to come back on Talk Utah and give us some more health tips. Absolutely. Uh, in the meantime, thank you for joining us, and be sure and see for yourself how integrated wellness can improve you. A lot of good information in there, but it was a little bit ago, uh -huh. a few months ago, so I'm mm -hmm. assuming they might have some more things to talk about. Yes, these boys are always up to something amazing and on the cutting edge of everything, and they do now stem cell injections. I just was on the phone with them. This is the latest and the greatest. You can basically not get a knee replacement surgery. They do milk, eggs, and bread? No. Oh, wait, that's your list That's my grocery list. Sorry. Stem cell injections, okay. which basically... Hello, stem cell research. Grow new tissue. It's an alternative to having joint replacement. That's huge, Rich Bonaducci. huge. That is huge because knees are like the most badly designed joint in the animal kingdom. Exactly. So I am going to be doing some follow-up with Integrated Wellness. I love those guys. Obviously, they have taken care of me throughout the years. They are really, really awesome. Do go in and see them, especially if you're struggling with something that 
doctors that you feel like are they just can't treat like something with stomach or fibromyalgia all those things that they just kind of send you home and make you feel like you're crazy those guys will help you and they will make you feel better i promise so and tell them holly sent you for sure um don't go anywhere because we have more from rich when we get back right after this yeah i'm out of i'm, I'm out of that too and bone marrow yeah, yeah bone marrow. bananas and bone marrow well it could go well together mm. some people do eat that I don't know. Going back to school just seems impossible. Allison, what's the real issue here? It's too much money, and there's not enough time. That's why WGU reinvented higher education. You can move through courses faster and graduate for half the cost. Really? Honey, just listen to the bird. You OK? Innovative, online, and surprisingly affordable. WGU, it's a new kind of view. Lash artists for the Talk 365 team provided by Sweet Lash. All right, everybody, that is our show. Thank you so much for joining us. Be sure and come back tomorrow. We have another great show for you. What's going to happen? Well, we've got Kent Dunn in the house to Ooh. talk about the big movie of the week. It is the only movie of the week. Which is? Because no one wants to compete with it. It is? One of the Chris's. <gasps> Which one? I don't know. Well, it isn't Chris Hemsworth. Because he just had a movie. This is the dual one with Iron Man, isn't it? Chris Evans. Yes. Captain America, Civil Wait, War. Wait, is this the one I'm not invited to? You are not invited. We're in position. this one fine come back on Friday have a good day really I can't even just like sort of be there you can hang out and watch from the side but you won't have seen the movie see all three of us oh I should mention that it's not just Kent Dunn it's Caitlin Booth by the way as well and we will have actually seen the movie that we will be discussing unlike some people who would just show up in the wrong shirt and not know what she's talking about about I do some research, I can read. But you haven't seen the movie. So I can talk. About what? Stuff. Have a great day, everyone. <laughs> <laughs>